Okay, so there's a new movie coming out called Judas and the Black Messiah. The film is a biographical take on how the FBI uh, successfully infiltrated and orchestrated the assassination of Black Panther leader Fred Hampton. I personally can't wait to see it, but it's got me thinking how much people don't know about the Black Panthers. One thing that hardly ever gets talked about, if at all, is that in the late 60s, the Panthers established the Free Breakfast for School Children program, along with the founding of the Oakland Community School. Inspired by contemporary research about the essential role of breakfast for optimal schooling, the Black Panthers would cook and serve food to poor youth. The program became so popular that the Black Panthers set up kitchens in cities all across the United States, feeding over 10,000 children every day before they went to school. Thus, the free breakfast program became the central organizing activity of the Black Panthers. Many of these programs were held in predominantly black neighborhoods, but also served children of all ethnicities. The Free Breakfast for Children program established by the Black Panther Party was one among more than 60 community social programs, all of which were renamed survival programs in 1971. These were operated by party members under the slogan, Survival Pending Revolution. Other survival programs included free ambulance, free busing, free clothing, free housing cooperative, etc. Fred Hampton, the chairman of the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party, helped organize a number of community programs in Chicago. These included five different breakfast programs on the west side, blood drives for the local hospital, a free medical center, and a door-to-door -door program of health services. The Panthers programs were very successful and Hampton quickly became a rising star within the party. The U.S. government went through great lengths to discredit many civil rights leaders in order to stifle left-wing movements. On June 15, 1969, FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover declared, the Black Panther Party without question represents the greatest threat to internal security of the country. In a memo, Hoover stated their objective was to prevent the rise of a messiah who could unify and electrify the Black national movement. Despite its successes, federal authorities attempted to discredit and derail the free breakfast program. They even went so far as to raid breakfast program locations while children were eating. Hoover pledged that 1969 would be the last year of the Black Panther Party's existence. On December 4th, 1969, in what we now know was a coordinated effort between the FBI, Chicago police, and the Cook County State Attorney's Office, Fred Hampton was assassinated in his apartment while laying in bed with his fiance. She was nearly nine months pregnant. Fred Hampton was just 21 years old at the time of his murder. Show me what to love, what to hunt, what to fight, what to kill for. America's on fire right now. You can murder and freedom fighter, but you can't murder freedom. Judas and the Black Messiah, rated R, in theaters and streaming exclusively on HBO Max, Friday.